Hi everybody and welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. I went out to Ripperton Fly Fishers the other day. I bumped into a guy called Chris as I was surveying the water. And he made me aware that the water, when you look at it, you don't see what's underneath it. And that's why they always fish intermediate lines. Because when the water level goes down, it shows how steep the banks are. So if you take in consideration you're fishing on the left hand side when it's full, you don't realise how steep it is, therefore they fish an intermediate line to keep the fly as close as possible to the bank when they're retrieving it back. And this captures more fish. He had 11 the other night in a couple of hours using these type of flies, especially the beaded ones at the top. He said that they're very, very good. Then I've asked him to time his son. I was going to fish the far side around the old dead trees but I got talking to somebody I know and we were walking and talking and before I knew it I was back in my old area at the top of the lake. So I positioned myself here using a weighted caddis because I've seen a lot of caddis flies knocking around on the way up. Simple little caddis, copper head, I put a yellow tag on the bottom of it. And all we we're doing was casting across, keeping it close to the bank because it does drop off very quickly here, letting it sink down, sink down, and then slow figure eight, fast figure eight, slow figure eight, bringing it along. It did hit the bottom once or twice, but then it did hit into a few fish. Well then. This was a nice browner, about a pound, sorry, not even a pound, about half a pound, very slim. Now, I didn't go too far forward here because as soon as you step within two or three feet of the water, it's just mud and you sink down. You do sink down as well. Another thing I found as well, I had to clean all my lines off because as the day went on, I could feel the line when I was casting it through the wing. I could feel the line when I was casting it through the wings. <laughs> had that gritty sound so it was a case of I washed all my lines down when I got home returned the fish and this is what I caught them all on this one didn't want to leave the net cast forward on this one I cast right and I cast left and I cast forward and I cast forward on this one same bug let it drop down and just give it 30 40 seconds and then a slow figure of eight the fly is still dropping at this time it's not coming back to the surface with any kind of force because it's a slow figure of eight and the weight is still taking over and something hit it that's all I can tell you something hit it I felt it jerk 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 and then it was off and it was bigger than half a pound I can tell you that in fact it didn't even want to move at one point I couldn't put any force onto it but it was there because you could feel the resistance of the fish fighting back so I then moved off to the left from here put myself down about 20 feet and again I cast across and out on the bank now I knew I was a little bit farther out than I was before I'm about four or five rod lengths actually off the bank so I put the rod under my arm got my glasses out and cleaned them while I waited for the fly to drop through the water and then using a figure of eight slow fast slow fast bang fish came and took it it might have been taking it as it was traveling along the side of the bank or as it was just coming back as i believe it might have been just as it left the side of the bank and was coming up to the surface that's when the fish took it another half another half pound browner more than happy with it had a smaller fish literally just a probably a year old brownie 
I had to reformat my camera at one point. So that's not <sighs> on the footage. I met a few people I know walking behind me, suddenly shouting out, Mr. D, Mr. D, and looked around about ten people. I knew about four oh, nice. or five of them. They asked me what I was doing. Nice. People doing some free swimming as well, oh. further up to the right. Big yellow floats strapped to themselves, swimming up towards the dam. If they realised how deep this was, any accidents happened, you're gone. This is a fly I was using. A little self-made fly. Yeah. Tied it about two weeks ago. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. And I'll catch you all later.